Welcome back to The Foundry. My name is Sly, and I'm here with John. Today, we're going to talk about Kree and Scrolls. After the recent Captain Marvel trailers, uh, we've been theorizing possible changes to the MCU and possible Avengers Endgame situations. But the Kree race isn't new in the MCU. But we want to discuss some backstory and the origins of the Kree and Scrolls for you guys. Okay. All right, you guys. Yeah, we've been talking a little bit about the Kree and the Scrolls. Uh, they were kind of introduced a little bit mainstream in the Captain Marvel trailers recently, uh, which we reacted to, didn't we, Sly? We did. Yeah, you guys can uh, go back to the Foundry. You guys can find those videos if you want to see our reactions, our initial thoughts on those trailers. Uh, but yeah, the Kree, they're not new to the MCU. Um, they have been an existing planet and race in the series and like there have been events that happened you know say like uh egos expansion all over the planet and stuff like that and the snap of course has affected kree all over yep so <clears> the uh, decimation yeah so kree um they're they're really like technological advanced race very militaristic and whatnot kind of like uh and it reminds myself of sparta you know that's just my opinion just hmm. super duper militarized and uh, first apparently showed up in 1967 the Fantastic Four. So uh, they're kind of more on the like celestial side on the MCU. Kind of like, yeah, obviously, Captain Marvel and Guardians of the Galaxy and whatnot being on a different planet. And uh, that planet being uh, Hala. They're humanoids. A portion of Kree are blue due to gravity and chemical composition of the air between their homeworld Hala and Earth. Krees have, like, obviously greater strength on Earth. So, like, uh, there's a difference when they go to Earth. They're stronger, kind of like uh, in Man of Steel. So, they can't breathe the same air, apparently, and blue-skinned Kree are considered purebred. So, you may not know this, but Captain Marvel is a Kree. She's a, she's a hybrid, apparently. Yeah, she's adopted. Mm -hmm. um, so, the Kree have been through hell on their homeworld, right, Sly? Yes, they have. They've been through many, many wars. They've got a poverty line, I guess you could say, that completely splits the race almost in two. There have been different, uh, different branches of those, of those sections. Uh, Sly, can you tell us a little bit about the wars and the hell they've been through? Uh, yeah, I can. Uh, the Kree had been involved in two wars, uh, two notable wars anyway, with the Scrolls. And the Scrolls is a race of uh, reptiles that were genetically experimented, uh, experimented on by the Celestials, <clears throat> resulting in three different groups, the Prime, the Deviants, and the Eternals. And uh, those three branches uh, eventually were overtook by the Deviant branch because they had this ability to shapeshift. I think we had a little glimpse of that in the Captain Marvel trailer when uh, Carol Danvers started laying the whoop-ass on old grandma on the train station. And uh, pretty much their wars... <clears throat> Between the uh, Kree and the Scrolls, uh, the Kree at the time were very barbaric on Hala, and uh, the peaceful Katati had a contest to determine which of the races would represent Hala to the Scroll Empire. As a result of that, it just kind of led to just nothing but bloodshed. And a notable Kree that we can all think of is uh, Ronan the Accuser, who is definitely going to be in Captain Marvel from the little snippets of the trailer we've seen. Uh, as far as the results of the wars, uh, they were not fortuitous for the scrolls, it seemed. No. Um, no. Apparently, like in, in comic, book, comic book lore, is a little bit different from the actual MCU lore. But uh, Black Bolt, who is all, also the leader of the Inhumans, I know he's in the Inhumans television show. I don't know if that's directly linked to. Uh, not the Inhumans. The human, Inhumans, that's a show, right? I know they're in an... Uh, I think so. Yeah, I've never seen it, but I've heard about it. The yeah. S.H.I.E.L.D., Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. TV show. Anyways. Right. Uh, but yeah, Black Bolt, leader of the Inhumans, he led the Inhumans into a Kree space and became like the Kree of the... Uh, king of the Kree Empire when they were down on their luck after being beaten by wars and whatnot. Uh, but yeah, the Kree, you know, they've been through hell. They've been experimented on. They've experimented on other races. They're... they're it seems like they're ultimate goal of the empire is just to dominate other races and dominate other empires worlds all that um so we've we've been not some notable crew here that uh we know about here in the mcu that have been kind of confirmed but uh we know about captain marvel obviously ronan the accuser he was featured in uh, guardians of the galaxy as the main villain uh we also know about marvel we don't know what role he plays in captain marvel uh, we also know Minerva, who's also in Captain Marvel. She's a big uh -huh. villain in uh, Marvel Comics as well. Um, and uh, Korath the Punisher, who's in uh, Guardians of the Galaxy as well. 
And uh, yes. we also have Braun and uh, Chur, which I think they've been in other uh, films as well. I'm not too sure. But uh, also uh, Yondu, part of the Guardians uh, of the Galaxy group, uh, he was a Kree battle slave apparently for 20 years. So, like, the Kree and Hala, this is not – they've been – they've kind of been mixed into this for a long time. Like, uh, they – Disney and Marvel, they've plant, planted those roots in deep, deep, deep almost, like, 10 years ago. Like, they've planned this stuff out. And uh, even, like, with the Ego's expansion where he uh, made it on – every planet almost um his expansion almost eliminated like half of the kree race on hala so like this these guys cannot get a fucking break which is kind of funny because they keep looking for trouble at the same time yeah yeah but um yeah those pretty much the kree and the scrolls any uh, final words for our fans here sly uh i can almost assure you we're probably going to get a glimpse at one of the two wars between the kree scrolls in the uh, Captain Marvel movie. Uh, also, there is a likelihood of a cameo, I'm thinking, because the Kree and the Scrolls are so prominent in the comics with the Fantastic Four, as uh, one of the Scrolls actually, Lija, she infiltrated the Fantastic Four and ended up having a thing with the Human Torch. So this would be a perfect time for the MCU to roll out the possibility of a Fantastic Four franchise. Ooh. But, uh, mm -hmm. yeah, I think that's going to be it for today's little uh, video over there. Like we said, we, uh, we're going to try to pump out some more Marvel videos for you guys and uh, get the hype up for Avengers Endgame and uh, Captain Marvel. And, and Spider-Man, uh, Far uh, From Home. Absolutely. And, uh, Sly, thank you for uh, leading the one on <laughs> leading us here on the, this video. Hopefully you, guys, uh, hopefully, you guys enjoyed it. It's more less opinionated, kind of talk about facts and whatnot. And uh, see which direction MC will go in. So hopefully you guys like this little bit of different content here. But uh, of course, thank you all for watching. I cannot wait to see you on the next Foundry video. See you.